I forgot to film an intro to this video. Um, well, I filmed one. It just sucked. <laughs> orders um, I'm filming this intro after I did it and you can track the time I'm too lazy but it took me quite a while but I'm just gonna basically show you how I package um, my orders and what I do for the certain types of necklaces well, now we are in my office space my studio space I'm gonna get my orders packaged <laughs> So now I'm just going to put my shipping labels on the packages. So I will talk to you guys after that is done. Oh, this is a lot. Okay, so we are going to get started and I'm gonna show you how I package just one of these orders. I'm not gonna make you sit through me packaging all 38, I think, of them because that would just get really boring. So I'm just gonna show you how I package them all. I'll show you how I package the different types, like my chain chokers and bracelets, stickers, just at least one of each item. All right, so here's what I use to package. I have my little thanks for your purchase card, which I got at Vistaprint. Vistaprint is actually pretty cheap. It's really easy. And I ordered from them. I got like a thousand. They were actually really nice. So I have these necklace cards, which I use for my chain chokers. And I have little bag and little stickers. First order we have is someone who just ordered um, a pastel Aloha bracelet. So what I do, I give them a little stretch to make sure that they're not gonna break because you know, I do make mistakes and some things do happen where some items can break. I'm not perfect, no one is. I normally, I just grab a bag, put one of my cards in, and then put the item, which is in this case, a bracelet, my dog is here. Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. What are you doing? All right. Anywho, I put it in the bag. Make sure it's in there. I'll peel the sticky thing off. I don't know if that's like a tab or something. And then I just close it. And then I will take from my sticker sheet one sticker and put it right there. There you have your simple one. And then I will put it in between the receipt and slip it in the package. And I use self-seal ones because it's just way easier than having to lick them all. So, boom. There we have it. So this next person ordered a pink lightning bolt choker, black lightning bolt choker, and a Aloha bracelet. So I will grab the bracelet. Let me go grab the necklaces. All right, so here are the necklaces that she ordered. Black lightning bolt and a pink lightning bolt. So for these necklaces, since they are chain, I'm going to need some tape. Okay, so I am going to take this and I'm gonna put it on the card. This is so that the necklaces don't get tangled or messed up when they're in transport. And I'm gonna lightly, lightly stick a piece of tape around the chain just so it keeps it in place and it'll end up looking like this. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this black one. Okay, so once these two necklaces are on their cards, I'm gonna take a cellophane bag. I got these from Amazon, I think, for like $10 for 200, I wanna say. So I 
put both of those necklaces in one bag because they fit nicely. And I'm gonna peel that and stick it. And again, I will take a sticker of my sticker sheet and put it on the back. I'm going to stick this in their receipt and put it in their package and seal it. All right, so this super sweet girl ordered a present for one of her friends and I believe that she paid for, she paid extra for gift wrapping. So I'll show you what that looks like. Here's what gift wrapping looks like. So gift wrapping costs an extra $4. So for gift packaging, I get these little boxes, which are super cute. And she ordered an Aloha rainbow choker. So I'm gonna grab that. These are actually my best selling necklaces out of anything in my shop. So here we have the Aloha rainbow choker. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fold this in half. I'm not gonna put a thank you card in because this is a gift purchased by someone else for someone else. So I'm gonna put this in this cute little pull baggie, I honest, oh, or gonza bag, that's what they're called. And I, sorry, this is kind of a mess. I'm gonna take my tissue paper, fold it up nice and neat. And I'm gonna take a sticker. I'm gonna take my sticker and I'm going to place it right there. So that way, when I put it in my box, it opens it and it looks like this. Cap on the right way, like that. So now I'm gonna take the receipt and the little note that the person wrote and I am going to put it in their envelope. Now, along with this, I have some little confetti pieces, tissue paper, confetti, whatever you wanna call them. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in the package. Not a lot, so it's not annoying and they don't come flooding out when they open it, but just a couple to make it look a little cuter. So that's how we do our paid gift wrapping. So I am just going to run through and package all these. I'll end up putting this on a time lapse. So you'll get to see how long it'll take me to package all of them. So let me look at the time. So right now it is 12.33. I will get back to you and tell you what time it is when I finish. And this is packaging 36 orders. So you guys can get a good idea on how long it's gonna take me to package all of these. So it is 12.46, I believe. I'm going to take a little lunch break and I'll come back and finish packaging and show you guys after. All right, so it is one o'clock on the dot and I'm gonna try to finish packing these up. And 30 minutes later, we have all of these orders done. Um, if you're a small business like me and you're looking for ways to package, I don't know why, but like I love watching packaging videos. All right guys, I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck until the end of this video, um, I don't know why, but thank you. Um, make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below if you want me to turn this into a series like running business stuff. So if you guys say yes, then I'll make more videos related to boardwalk beads and how I do stuff. So thank you guys for watching.